suffering and and you're right earlier as you said too bad we can't call this you know such a nice day because yeah. it cooled down and was actually comfortable for a while yeah well if we're going to have uh, you know a situation like this at least yeah. we have the cooler weather for everybody to operate yeah, and with the wind dying down too i mean they were constant they were getting reports in the 30 mile an hour range right yeah. at the height of this yesterday well uh, on sunday when we had the influence yeah. of lee we were having 40 mile an hour gusts yeah. so yeah. Much crazy today. and if it gusts up and you're near that area obviously watch out that ha that ash will uh, of course blow up you want to look at this, maybe you can see it, maybe not. Very difficult, but this is from our Steiner Ranch Steakhouse camera. You can see right here, and I've been watching these. I know it's hard to see, but we watch it on bigger monitors in here. That is a little flare up right there, and so is that one. You see the little plume of smoke, see how it's floating off to the, the, the left? That's to the south right now, watching these. That is uh, over and beyond. I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't know exactly where these are, but I wanted to point out that these still exist. So watch out for these. If you see a flare up or if you start getting ash falling on you, you see smoke out there, whatever, make sure you're aware of the situation. And uh, of course, uh, keep your eyes uh, open into the afternoon and evening hours as the winds pick up just a little bit. 84 degrees right now, obviously warming up but not by much. 84 here locally, 81 in Georgetown, 82 out at the airport, 86 in San Marcos. That's probably the hottest that we have on here right now. We'll get an updated temperature here in about 15 minutes. You can see 79 in Fredericksburg, 78 in Mason. Those are some of the cooler numbers. 84 in Lakeway, 80s out in Bastrop where they're fighting the fires, and 80 in Giddings, 82 in LaGrange. I want to also mention with the winds generally out of the north heading south, but light, about six miles per hour. If you are outside, you have asthma or respiratory issues, this is not a good day for you to be outside. You have a friend, uh, you've got an uncle or an aunt or anybody out there, maybe they're just not thinking about it. Make sure that they get indoors. Uh, you're going to have a lot of folks with a lot of issues if we don't uh, watch this. We have had, we've, this is probably the most smoke we've had in here in a long time. Sometimes we talk about those, those uh, fires down in Mexico, the agricultural burning. This is not that. This is worse. And in fact, we are at a moderate level for the TCEQ's air quality locally, and they may actually drop that quality level even more so as the day continues. So watch for that. Uh, relative humidity, you can see the numbers are low here. We're concerned about that because it means that the atmosphere is dry. Now, you need oxygen, obviously, to burn things, but a drier form of the atmosphere, not only the ground, but the air as well, will promote fires building. So we have to be careful as we get into the afternoon hours, knowing that the atmosphere is still a little bit fragile. Things could still fire up and give us troubles. Statewide, this is what it looks like. Clear, except for the cloud cover, that, not the cloud cover, but the smoke that looks like cloud cover out there. And uh, it is certainly showing up on Bastrop, not here, but it uh, shows up when you're outside on the ground. It's not anything to be seen anywhere else out here. No cloud cover, no showers, nothing. Future clouds and radar tries to put a cloud or two into the uh, skies to the north of us. Not really seeing anything significant headed this way. We see a few showers there trying to get into the panhandle as we get into um, you know, Wednesday evening or Wednesday morning into Wednesday evening. You can see those showers getting a little closer. The cloud cover starting to move in. And then by Thursday, well, a few scattered clouds, but higher than near the clouds at that. 91 for the high today. Winds out of the north, northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. Temperatures back into the 50s. Could you see an upper 40 out in the hill country? I wouldn't be surprised. Enjoy it as best you can. And, and at the same time, if you can help out, a lot of donation areas, a lot of ways Red Cross has taken donations, monetary, and of course, if you can help out, hit our website at kxan.com. We'll keep you up to date on that. Seven day forecast 91 today, 91 tomorrow, 92 on Thursday. Morning lows very near 60, 50s here, 60s here, low 60s into the weekend, and then it warms up. About 70 or so on Monday. Afternoon highs will get up to about 97 on Sunday, 98 on Monday. This is the time of the year when we have those big sawtooth forecasts. They rise up, they get hot, and then another cool front comes in and drops it out. But that is September, and we have waited long enough for that.